Sir Paul McCartney has turned 80 this weekend and has seen the world's response to mental health change drastically. The Hey Jude hitmaker used his songwriting and performing as a form of therapy for his own demons, but found that sometimes that wasn't always enough. Paul told GQ magazine last year that he used alcohol as a way to deal with the intense pressures that came with being a member of one of the world's most successful bands. He recalled, in truth, I just took to booze. There wasn't much time to have mental health issues, it was just, F it, it's boozing or sleeping. But I'm sure it did, as they were very depressing times. It's funny, I remember when I first met Linda, she was divorced with a child and living in New York and having to fend for herself. She got depression and I remember her saying she made a decision, he added. Paul said how his wife said that she had decided that she wasn't going to have depression, so she picked herself up by the bootstraps. He said how that inspired him to make changes in a bid to get better and look for help. But it appears that Paul might not have been the only member who had been plagued by similar issues. In an interview with the Sunday Times, he said that the Fab Four may have poked fun at their struggles, in order to play them down or even hide them entirely. When he was asked if his band members had mental health issues he said that he thought so, but added that they talked about it through their songs. Speaking about John Lennon, who was killed after he was shot by a crazed fan in New York said, you know, John would. Help. I need somebody, he wrote. And I thought, well, it's just a song, but it turned out to be a cry for help. He continued, same kind of thing happened with me, mainly after the breakup of the band. All of us went through periods when we weren't as happy as we ought to be. But you know there were a lot of things we had to work through, you didn't talk about mental health. Paul spoke openly about how he was inspired by Ringo Starr, who had a major drinking problem. But he explained how Ringo turned it around, and he joked that the drummer was Mr. Sober of the Year. But before then, Paul was self-medicating by smoking marijuana and drinking heavily. The singer was hitting the booze on and off for 40 years as a way to cope with the breakdown of the band. However in 2018 he spoke about how he had jacked it in and only drinks one glass of wine per week now. Now he has a grandfather of eight, he said that he doesn't have time to drink now. In 2008, the Sun newspaper claimed that he had undergone heart surgery. The publication quoted a source, which allegedly said the operation was all very routine but any work on your heart is a big deal. However Paul dismissed the claims on his website, adding that he hadn't had surgery but that he had undergone tests for minor irregularity. He thanked his loved ones who contacted him after being concerned about his surgery and said that he was happy to put their minds at rest. But the cheeky liver Pudlian added, I have secretly been enjoying all the sympathy. Do you enjoy reading about celebrities? Sign up for all the best celeb news from the mirror here. As well as kicking the booze and looking after his mental health, he has also been a vegetarian since the late 70s, which he attributes to his good health. He told Wired in 2018, you can get loads of vegetarian options these days, so it's not like it was like in the old days when you just got the boiled sprout. Yoga and meditation have also been a huge part of Paul staying fit and healthy, both mentally and physically. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. 
www.ecoshop.co.uk or call us direct 0207 29